Hello, my name is Maya Ghosh. I'm a student at Claremont McKenna College. I'm going to talk about Proposition 20, which seeks to increase criminal penalties in California. In recent years, California has taken numerous steps to reduce the state's prison population. Among other things, the state has converted some felonies to misdemeanors, reduced criminal penalties, and expanded opportunities for early release. Advocates of stricter law enforcement and victim rights have put Prop 20 on the ballot to counter some of these changes. Prop 20 would prevent early release of certain offenders from prison, increase penalties for serial theft and organized retail theft, increase penalties for parole violations, and expand DNA collection by requiring law enforcement to collect DNA from adults convicted of certain misdemeanors. Supporters of Prop 20 include various victim rights groups, the California Correctional Peace Officers Association, other public safety organizations, and the California Retailers Association. Supporters say Prop 20 would promote public safety and reduce the recent increase in property crimes by preventing the early release of dangerous offenders and strengthening sanctions against theft by habitual offenders. Prop 20's opponents include former Governor Jerry Brown, the ACLU, the California Labor Federation, and the Chief Probation Officers of California. Opponents say that Prop 20 would increase penalties for low-level offenses that are disproportionately imposed on Black, Latino, and Indigenous Californians. They also say the measure would adversely affect the rehabilitation process and would contribute to prison overcrowding. A yes vote on Prop 20 would limit the early release of some offenders and would increase penalties for certain theft crimes and parole violations. It would also require law enforcement to collect DNA samples from adults convicted of certain misdemeanors. A no vote on Prop 20 will leave current policies in these areas unchanged. Please go to roseinstitute.org for a more detailed analysis of Prop 20.